hi everyone welcome to get python code today i will show week one quiz answer for joy of computing using python so coming to question number one which block can be used to move the cat move the cat means we want motion so we will just select this first motion block and here you will find that we have move as given in option number b and we have glide as given in option number d but we will not find this walk and teleport in this motion block so for question number one answer is move and glide coming to the question number two which set of blocks move the cat 40 steps and then points down so we have to move the cat 40 steps and then points down so so we will try this option move 40 and points in direction 180 as given in option number b just notice the face of this cat it is currently seeing towards its right and if I click on this block, it will see down. You can see it is seeing down. So this will be the option. It has moved 40 steps as given here as x is equal to 40. And currently seeing the face, you can identify it is moving down. Going to the question number 3. You can see this block is matching with the block prepared by me. Okay, so if I just click here to know uh, what is this cat saying here. So it will so I am just clicking here to see what this cat will say here. So I click there, cat is saying seven, then six, then five, then four, then it is telling three, then two, then one, then over. So it will it is telling six, five, four, three, two, one. So it is matching with this option. Say the number seven for one second as it said and then say number from 6 to 1 so for question number 3 mark option C as the answer now coming to the question number 4 from the previous question what is the value of minimum variable after the loop ends so I had taken this minimum variable and the loop has already ended and you can see the value of this minimum is 0 so answer is 0 for question number 4 so before moving to the question number five, I just want to make something clear that all answer given by me are correct. But then also if there is any change in answer, I will definitely inform you in my telegram channel or in this YouTube channel community tab or in this video description. So please check this video description on the last submission day or join my telegram group so that you can be updated with my final answer. So for question number 5, you can see let answer for previous question be stored in variable x. So answer for previous question is stored in this variable my, my num. It has 0 and x has also 0. That, so we can say that the same answer is stored in variable x x said in the question. So you can see this block is exactly matching with my block. And if I execute this block, it will say answer as 5. You can see it is currently telling hello. So I click there to execute it and it is telling 5. So mark 5 as answer for question number 5. Okay. For question number 6, which following data type is uh, primarily used for storing a sequence of characters. So it is string. Using string only we store sequence of character. We don't have any other option. Question number 7, which of the following statement best described why for loop? So it will be P as it is used to execute a repeated block of code. So for question number 7, mark B and for question number 8, suppose you have arithmetic expression without a, involving addition, subtraction, multiplication and exponential, which statement is true. So it, is, it will be evaluated using built-in operators. Yes, we have built-in operators like plus, minus, add, subtract, all those. So it will be C. Coming to question number 9. So we have to find the distance between these two points. Let me show the let me show you the answer what should be the answer so i have chosen this point 15 25 and then 29 if i calculate here so we need the square of distance which will come as 61 now in this scratch if we run this you, you will see this block will exactly match as given in the question and if i try to run this it will say 61 so 61 is the answer so it is matching and it is this block will exactly match with this block so it is option a for question number nine 
and going to question number 10 what tasks below block will accomplish so if you can see it is matching with the question my block is matching with the question given in the block i will again enlarge and you can notice one thing that it will stop 17 steps away from the center 00, 0 direction okay just notice this 17 steps and it will also you can notice it will move in a parabolic path so i will make it as full screen and then run so i click there and you can see it is moving up up and then towards right so it is moving like this and then you you have to notice the final x value for this x going down going down and you can see x has moved 17 steps x 17 so x has moved 17 steps is exactly matching in the last option so last option will be the answer for question number 10 thanks a lot for watching this video please like comment and subscribe